When I got to Paris, the man said I couldn't come in. Some man, French man. Uh, they gave me no explanation other than to say, we have our orders. They wouldn't let me phone the American embassy and they tried to imply that the American embassy was behind it, which I told them that I didn't know that France was a satellite of the United States. Well, this made them angry because they like to be independent, you know, or pretend to be independent. They were taking their orders from someone as high up in the French foreign ministry who did not want me to enter France. And there's a reason for it. I don't blame them. Uh, and because, uh, and I told them while I was there that maybe my plane got mixed up I, and I was in South Africa in the wrong country. Uh, I told them this couldn't be pa Paris, it must be Johannesburg. And they got red. And you know how they can get red. There's a large increasing number of dark skinned people uh, swelling the, pop the dark population of France and Britain and it's, it's giving them a great deal of cause for worry. No effort has been made to unite the Afro-American community or the American Negro community with the uh, West Indian community and then those two communities with the African community and those communities with the Asian community. This has never been done. And this frightened many power, many interests in this country. Many people in this country who want to see us the minority and who don't want to see us taking too militant or too uncompromising a stand are absolutely against the successful uh, regrouping or organizing of any faction in this country whose thought and whose thinking pattern is international rather than national. And there's a worldwide revolution going on. It goes beyond Mississippi. It goes beyond Alabama. It goes beyond Harlem. What is it revolting against? The power structure. The American power structure? No. The French power structure? No. The English power structure? No. Then what power structure? an international Western power structure. 